friends welcome to healthy natural remedies every home has a number of god's idols images symbols holy religious books etc these could be in puja ghar prayer room on calendars diaries books and other items sometimes these idols images books get damaged and shastra says that we should not worship or keep the broken and damaged idols images of god and other holy books now the question is how to dispose them of the right way and why you should not keep broken idols and damaged photos of god idols and images are the representation of the divine form of god according to the shastras when you worship the god's idol with honesty and dedicated devotion this awakens the divine and the energy of god residing in the idol so if an idol is broken or image is damaged then we might not be able to focus on god's puja and prayer the devotee's mind will keep getting distracted and such a disturbed prayer will not produce any positive results when you worship a damaged idol or image your mind can continue noticing the defect in the image every time you pray in front of it so what to do when idols of god get broken or their photos get torn in today's video i will tell you eco friendly solutions to dispose damaged puja items related to god in the right way and in the respectful manner According to shastras and purans you can immerse damaged idols and images in flowing water but the water has to be flowing you should not immerse them in a lake or in stable water body but in an actual stream of water many people also immerse the flowers and garlands after puja in flowing water but before immersing the garlands in water you should remove the threads from garlands and incense sticks as it may hurt innocent animals in the water damaged idols photos should be immersed in flowing water and a new one should be installed in puja ghar you can also bury such damaged items in the soil before disposing broken idols or photos offer some rice turmeric kumkum to eat and then dispose them respectfully but always buy idols made up from natural clay mud stone sand etc as these materials don't create pollution upon immersing in a water body as compared to other non disposable material like plaster of paris cement plastic thermocol etc eco friendly way to dispose the damaged idols photos of gods There is another eco-friendly way to dispose the damaged idols, photos of gods and damaged holy books. Try to recycle them respectfully. Simply soak these photos, holy books and idols if they are made up of natural clay in a bucket of water until it completely dissolves and broken down. Once it is completely wet and broke down, squeeze out the excess water and add this muddy water or paste in your garden or soil in the plant pots If idols are made from plaster of paris or any other solid material then bury it in the soil Don't throw it in water as it will pollute the water resources Before disposing the damaged photos of gods open the photo frame remove the glass carefully and take the gods photo out Bury this photo in your garden or in the soil in the plant pot and grow new plant in it. You can immerse the damaged puja items in the lake and river 
if the idols are made up of stone or sand. Same can be done for the holy books as they are biodegradable. Another most important thing is the God's idol in a house should not exceed size of your thumb. Anything over that is meant for temples only. Before disposing broken idol or photos, offer some rice to it and then dispose them respectfully. Never leave broken idols or photos under the trees or near temples. Dispose them respectfully. Worshipping God through puja and saving the environment at the same time is a tricky job. So choose your puja items wisely. That is all for today. If you like the video, please hit like button and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon and share this video with your friends. Stay healthy, stay fit, God bless you.